Hey all, Russ here, every TV, welcome. Check it out. We're just leaving Badlands National Park. What a pretty place. That thing was epic driving through there. I've never seen so many big mountain ranges and valleys that look like that ever. All right, we're heading on 240. We just got about five or six miles right up the road here and we're gonna end up in a town called Wall W-A-L-L, -L, Wall, South Dakota. And these guys are world famous for the Wall Drugstore. And we're going to go check that out too. Right up here is I-90. We've kind of been zigzagging off I-90, checking out all these neat locations. South Dakota does not disappoint in different little places you can stop. My goodness. I mean, it, they're endless. We haven't even seen them all. <laughs> but here in a wall, if you've ever driven I-90, you've seen their signage. These guys have billboards for hundreds of miles in both directions all over the place, advertising the wall drugstore. And they've been doing it for, I think, like a century, long time. Matter of fact, I think it was way back I was here uh, a lot of years ago. There's also the National Grassland Visitor Center here too. Look how green everything is. It's definitely hot. Hot times in South Dakota, summertime. There's a little grocery store about a block off the left. Oh, cool. Look at the sculptures there. Wood carving, that's an art. I had a friend that used to do that. Okay, well, let's see. Well, this is the street to wall drugs on. It's been a long time. I bet back in the 80s. I drove through here and it was a huge tourist trap then but it's a fun tourist trap <laughs> okay right off here to the right uh, grassland visitor center let's go check it out national grasslands visitor center I bet it's air-conditioned in there too yeah <laughs> This whole region is all national grassland and national parks. On the inside, look at this. They got all the different grasses that grow here. Looks like some wildlife stuff. Pretty cool looking Native American displays. Never realized how many different grasses there are. This place is nice. Versity of the prairie life. Prairie weather. Hot and cold. <laughs> Windy. Look at all the displays. Got the owls. Prairie dog. Oh yeah, prairie dogs. Seen a bunch of them. Back at that prairie homestead. Wetlands, yeah, it does get rain here, but they're in a drought this year. This is very well done in here. This is a good little stop. Plus all these places, they got uh, great maps and stuff you can get for free. Cool looking eagle. All kinds of good stuff. Definitely worth a stop. Check this out. Grassland National Visitor Center in Wall, South Dakota. Too cool for school. All right, let's go cruise downtown. <laughs> this place can get really, really busy. 
right up here in the right here's wall drug it's it's like a massive uh, mini mall shopping mall last time I was in there all the different types of shops down here but on the inside we'll we'll go in for a little bit look at that cafes on the other just incredible the amount of people that stop here but the signage hopefully we can find some history in there it I believe it started way back in like the early 1900s plus the advertising they do they they're absolute geniuses in marketing Wow look at them big grain silos them things are huge well, I'm going to go find that place that's free parking. We'll get parked and we'll go walk around. Railroad tracks. There's an RV park straight off where that RV's coming out of there. Kind of Googled this place where I got here. Checked out the lay of the land. I don't know where I'll stay tonight. Maybe here. Not too busy yet, that's a good thing. It's right around 11 in the morning. Looks like they got more parking back behind there. Alright, well, what do you say? Go take a quick walk. See what I can get into here. And I'm not buying any new t shirts. <laughs> nope. No buying t-shirts this trip. All right, let's go have fun. Go walk around. Badlands Veterans Memorial, American Legion. Nice. Just right back here at the parking lot. It's pretty cool. Yeah, they got quite a bit of parking. Plus, I think you can park the streets. There's motels and whatnot down near the I-90, the exit there. The town's not that big. I mean, there's not that many people. I think population on this thing is around a thousand or two. What we got here? Police, copper stuff uh, shop here. Copper stoppers. Bet they got their hands full in the summer. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's walk over by Wall Drug first, and then we'll come back down this side. You missed the 150 people out here. Darn. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> when? Everybody got here like 6, 6.30, and they don't open till 8, so it doesn't matter. 150 people were lined up to get in here. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> let's wander the street first, then I'll go inside. Maybe have those 150 people will leave. <laughs> This is what I remember what it was, though. It uh, takes up this entire city block here. It's a shop after shop inside. They're all independent shops, uh, probably. They just rent the space out. Look at that. They got their doors numbered. There's several entrances to get in here. Door number two is locked. <laughs> okay. Actually, I'm glad there's not too many people here right now. It sure is warming up, though. Here you go, Black Hills Gold. All kinds of Black Hills Gold jewelry. Well, what do you think? Let's go in uh, door number one here. Check it out. 
Here it is. Look at it. It's huge. Clothing. Absolutely. Everything, anything you can think of. Probably some pretty expensive real estate to have set up shop though, but look at the traffic it drives. It, tour buses come in here. This is what it's like inside Wall Drug. Old Western scene where they played music. <laughs> Look at that. I wonder how many pictures have been taken of this. Well, out back there's a whole bunch more buildings. Western Art Gallery. We'll go check that out too. There's a two horsepower model wagon. Look, they got little sprinklers for the kids to run through. It is hot here. 1931. That's when it started. I knew it was early 1900 something. Old, old pictures. Just hundreds and hundreds of them. Look at all these things. You could spend quite a bit of time, which they want you to, in here. More time in here, the chances are you're going to buy something. Pretty good marketing. Fun little stop. There's a big dragon down here at the end. Pretty good. I mean, it's just endless what you can see in here. I like this back building much better than the front. Front's full of stores. This is kind of their me memorabilia stuff back here. Definitely check out Wall Drug. Oh, kind of glad to be out of there. <laughs> A lot of people. Okay, let's continue our walk. Cruise the downtown block here. Think I might check out that RV park later. Some old western wear. I mean, you can just buy anything here. Kind of hard to see with the reflection. Sorry about that. Coffee refills, five cents. T-shirts, more T-shirts. Everyone's got a T-shirt or a hat for sale here. Think how competitive, but boy, I bet they sell a ton of them. More Black Hills Gold. They're not open. That's too bad. All right, well, what else we got? Oh, there you go, Badlands, Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson's in South Dakota, they go together, don't they? All kinds of parking back down there. Yeah, that was really hard to film inside that uh, drugstore there, just blaring copyrighted music. Wasn't a good fit. Definitely check it out though, it's kind of fun to go in there. Jackalope's Corner, here you go. More t-shirts. <laughs> Post office, that looks like the real deal. Wall, discount, everything, eight, eight ninety nine. there you go. Stay out here in the street so I can get the front of it. 
little outdoor cafe there. T-shirts, coffee cups. Pretty cool. Can you imagine back in the day? I mean, these towns go way back to the 1800s. Frosted mugs, oh boy. A strawberry daiquiri, there you On a hot day. Old frosted mug beers. I bet they sell a few of those here. Then a look over there. More cars are parking. They're coming in now. Looks like this one's closed. I bet the old uh, COVID pandemic hit these guys hard, just like every place else. Hard to stay open. But looks like the majority of them are open now. Turquoise liquidation, 50 to 70% off. Now, how could you pass that up? South Dakota wine. They got their own wine here. Factory owned store. Cool. More jewelry. Pretty good looking stuff. Okay, well, there's downtown wall. <laughs> we survived it. All right, let's head back to the van. What a cool little town. Now, how'd you like to live here? Wall, South Dakota. Nothing but tourism. But there's farming. Look at them big silos and everything. There's a really good look at how, the size of Wall Drug. Look at that. It takes up an entire city block. My goodness. Look at the size of that thing. But the amount of advertising they do, all the billboards on the highways. And those big grain silos got their own railroad tracks running through here. Pretty good. There's that RV park. I think I'm going to go check them out. All right, back to the van we go. I'll spend the night here and then uh, figure it out, but I think it's time to probably head up North Dakota. Journey continues. Talk soon.